All right, all right. Well, once again, we back on the THC couch with your boy 6025 Scarfo, aka Stena One Man. We Ka. people, I'm audio. Yeah, yeah. Um, we also obviously have Yasmin as per regular scheduled programming. Drop yourself. Hi. Say something cool. Something cool. That's not cool, bro. <laughs> You really did cool. that before. You think she's just gonna actually yeah. say? I said something. something. I said say something sexy. She said something sexy. So what you guys saying? How are you? How are you? How are you? Mm. Start. Start, ladies first. I'm good. Really? I've been binging the rookie. God. Really? Not to get too much into it, but I don't understand. It's like watching NCIS or something. It's like the yeah, same kind yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Same. You check a statement. And there's so many versions of the same thing. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it. Really? What is it? it's about the bra becoming a cop basically? Yeah, starting like out. a midlife crisis. Do you, do you know? The, do you know the, the the clean? What what is it? The cleaning lady, the the the, the lady who was a cleaner. Is a series. Maid. No man, not the maid. Something about the cleaner, bro. She's a she was cleaning like uh, in the, the like the offices of the uh, the CIA, mm -hmm. the LAPD, and then she was cleaning, and she knocked the file over, and then she could see just from looking at the pictures, but ah, uh, this one is not the killer. I'm like, bro, the, the story. Th your high potential. Yeah, yeah, high potential. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. First, you see I'm, that I'm hearing about um, it. But how are you though? We're also yeah, gonna yeah. go down. Yeah, this. we're gonna. Uh, how am I? Bro? <laughs> I'm having a good week, bro. I'm one step closer to dominating the world. Um, I, <laughs> Face. um I, Face. I went to church for eight hours and realized, I'm I'm trying to be a pastor for real, bro. I realized there's a lot of, a lot. I need to do a lot of cardio because them niggas don't sit down. They stand up and they sit down and then they sit down and they stand up. There's a whole lot, you know. Was he sweating? The pastor, he was sweating. Mm. He was, but he's chubby though. But that means it's a, he's doing a good job. Was that means he's been to work? That's what I realized. I realized I need. To, I realized I need to work on my facials, my facial expressions. You know, also I need to also. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot. A lot. A lot. It comes. A lot comes with it though. And it even is. like the way they speak, they speak with so much yeah, passion. Yeah, emphasis. Yeah. The hands, you know. Mm. And I need to also work on my cross hands. You know, I need to do this. And like be convinced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work on that though. But like, apart from that, I went to church, I went fishing, saw some females. Um, yeah. You went to church and fishing on the same day. I, that's crazy to me. Yeah, I did. Like, such now contrasting things. Almost. Shopping. Uh, uh, what else did I do? All yesterday. Mm, 20, mm, 24 hours. I think 36, 36 hours. I know 36 hours. Because so the church started at 6. And then it finished at 12, and then we went fishing in the morning. Did you catch anything, by the way? No. <laughs> it's no. giving no. It didn't. <laughs> I'm going to come clean, though. The stick broke. I saw 20 dolphins, by the way. It was a very beautiful week. I saw 20 dolphins mm -hmm. running on the coastline. It's a very oh majestic yeah. week for me. Even though the, the rod broke, that's kind of like makes up for it, in a sense. It does, though. I Seeing was like, dolphins, that doesn't happen every day. I was day. like, bro, it's either the end of the world. Oh, God is speaking to me. I was like, mm, God, are you telling me to be a preacher for real? I mean, you're still here, so it must be the speaking to you thing. You it is. Me. I feel like that nigga was telling me, bro. He's like, yo, bro, just go on your path. Just be like these dolphins and follow. Yeah. Don't Migrate. Mm, 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 <laughs> mm. Lead. But apart from that, I'm good, though. I've oh yeah. been on a tangent again. How are you, though? Uh, I'm tired. I had a headache earlier, but otherwise... I couldn't be more happier. Ecstatic, oh yeah. brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. my bro. <laughs> the boss I live. Oh, my days. The boss I live. Uh, can I, can I, do you mind? No, no, go. Okay, cool. So, Barca plays Champions League, right? I told you guys last time, also, big fight feel. Yeah. It feels different. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Different. Anyway, so Tuesday, um, Dortmund take on Madrid, right? Which yeah. is Barcelona, who I support direct rivals. So, I don't know if you're familiar with what the hate watch is. Yeah. But like you basically watch the rival club and yeah. hope for their loss, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. You check. So you were hate watching that. Show. I was hate watching that. But look here, yeah, mm, I'm not, the I have a respect. I can understand Vinny's great, what Jude, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they're still my rivals, you check. So I'm mm. still going to want to watch it be, uh, that match and be like, uh, I hope those guys lose. Yeah. Can't be. Bro, Some first off, they concede two goals. Yeah. At that moment, I was like, sharp. You said done for. Yeah. yeah, I mean, bro. I Yo. don't know if it was in the first half or the second half. Antonio Ru Rudiger scored the first goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bro, the thing about them is, nah, d did they play at the Bonabau? I don't remember. No, it was actually their way. Okay, so they played at Dortmund Stadium. Yeah. Anyway, the thing about them is, once this Owens get shots off, nah, get crosses in the box and like making plays inside your box, yeah. they will score eventually. Ob That's going to happen because they, they just come for you, bro. Pause. And... um. 
So then at that point, eh, Rudiger scores, and I'm thinking to myself, oh my days, they just switched on. Yeah. So then after that, hot and fast, bruh, shots and stuff, uh, Vinny, who was it, Mbappe them, yeah. all like attacking. So, and then they scored, I don't know who scored after that. Lus- I think it's first Vinny, then Lu- Luska Vasquez. Vasquez um, scored also. Mm. I think Vasquez scored, uh, no, yeah, it was in between, because I think oh, Vinicius scored two. Yeah. No, it was Rudiger first, man, and then Vinny, I think, and then Vasquez. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then Vinny went on to score the other yeah, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway, so they beat this Owens 5-2, my bro. I was thinking to myself, what Crazy. is going on here? Yeah. Who's this Madrid? Yeah. yeah. I was watching that game. Right? And, and Dortmund, unstoppable he was on game, smoke, bro. bro. And look, yeah, he's, uh, um, Dortmund isn't a team to laugh at. They are They were at the final almost last, last season. Yeah, made, they won, eh? So, they're actually really decent, bro. It's, like, insane that they conceded like that. Plus, after the second goal, yeah. Eh? When he scored the second goal, my bro. So now, you know, obviously, he's doing his celebrations, whatever. They show the Dortmund fans, uh, fa- uh, players. You n- Just by looking at them, you can tell they gave up. It's yeah, gone. Yeah, they yeah, like yeah. gone. They're, They're out. Hope, yeah. Whole sense of hope is gone. Done so, bro. Plus, uh, Nuri Sai and the coach also disaster class. That man put on a defensive, um, like, yeah, midfield. Yeah, I saw, yeah, yeah. defensive formation. Which is, uh, not uh, maybe it was his plan, but it kind of flopped because but now... you lose, lose with some... Some respect. Might as well just yeah. leave on the attackers and score more. Because yeah, yeah. that is Madrid, bro. These are uh, Mr. Champions Leagues. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. Owens. Anyway, when he goes on, scores a trick. Sure. Now I'm checking to myself. Okay, these Owens are looking dangerous. I'm nervous. Mm. Following day, Wednesday, we take on Bayern. Bra, five. We haven't won against Bayern for the last three, f- five meetings, if I'm not mistaken. It's always been draws and loses. I think it was just losses, my bro. And then you must know, so there was a, like a 7-2 de- yeah, defeated one yeah, point yeah. amongst that five d- matches, bruh. It was a heartbreak, my bro. So in my mind already, I'm thinking, okay, we look good, we look confident, but still this is Bayern, this is Owens that they've beat us. It's almost a psychological thing at this point. Yeah. It's not even, uh, you know, about the teams and whatever. And oh, uh, side note, Thomas Muller always makes cut of us for this. Yeah. Like any random thing. They like took him out though. They did sub him. But um, he must now, ev- before every match, he plays Barcelona, he'll make a joke. He'll be like, Barcelona will pay kind of vibe. You check. Yeah. He always he says that. About it. Yeah. And he even made a video before this. We're on our way type vibe, whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We destroy those Owens. With bro. him on the field. With him on the on field. And take him off. <laughs> nigga, bro. Nigga's not playing, bro. I'm Rafinha. That shot of that, I think it's 5-1. Five, f- five, eh? yeah. five, no, 4-1, I think. And then there's a shot of him. I'm going to put that shit on a T-shirt. <laughs> I can't let him, can't let him you get me because he makes cut all the time now we must get him back a bit yeah uh to wrap up with that whole thing um i probably had notes but i'm not gonna get into that it's too much i'm man is trying to start a soccer podcast please follow him low-key but we'll you shouldn't have even we'll see inshallah, yeah, yeah, inshallah. Yeah, 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 yeah. anyway so rafinha scores a hat-trick i don't know who else scored i forgot but they won five two five one yeah. four one I think Lewa is the other person that scored. Anyway, so both Madri- um, Spanish teams won their games. Both Brazilians that play for each Spanish team scored hat tricks. It was set up perfectly. You can't yeah, write that it was shit. like a head to head. Bro, the football. That's what I like about football. Like there's like football gods they actually orchestrate this thing. Bro, like my in bro, the stars, bro. You you just can't write. This is like like peak cinema, man. Yeah, yeah. You check yeah. what are the odds of this? Anyway, so. So the uh, El Clasico is what, what the, the Madrid and Barcelona match yeah. is called. Probably like in football, the biggest. Um, besides right. now, obviously a World Cup or UCL the Biggest final. rival. Yeah, b- biggest rival battle. Um, I think it is. Yeah, one yeah. Of it is. Probably. Man United and Man City and, and the rest. Yeah, yeah. There's no hype like that. Facts, even that's the true. energy around it is oh just yeah. crazy. Nah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I would agree with that. Um, even those are fire, but like this one is like the mar- Like, you know, yeah. everyone looks forward to this because of the history and whatever. Anyway, so... Did I want to say something else now about this, this classical thing? Oh, yeah. So they are... Madrid were unbeaten 42 games now at home, home and away in the league. So they have not lost. They've drawn and they've won games. Yeah. So they had to beat us for their 43rd game. And then they would tie our streak of also going 43 games unbeaten. Mm. Um, I don't know what season that was. 2018. Tw- 2000. Obviously Messi was there. Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that point he was there probably. <coughs> anyway, so stakes are high. This is what it looks like now. This is what it is. 
Bro, the Owens are coming onto the pitch. It's crazy. We're playing at the Bernabeu, which is their stadium. It's much like Anf- Anfield. Yeah. They say when you go to Anfield and you play Liverpool, it's, it's the aura is m- insane, bro. You can't like match yeah, that. You check yeah. like it's insane. Anyway, so pull up. And okay, I was a bit scared because like Vinny them were coming with it and stuff. And obviously we lost like the whole Ansi Flick doesn't really play. He does play position ball, but that's what Barcelona was like really. It was embedded in the yeah, DNA yeah, yeah, yeah. of Barcelona. But now they don't really control the game like as the much. The first 10, 10, 15 minutes. It was I shaky. Was, yeah, it was shaky because yeah. the guys were, they kept hitting the side nets. Right, right. Like, it's, But it's like, like I said also with the uh, Dortmund game. Yeah. Once they get shots off, eventually they're going to score. Yeah, yeah. And they did, but Mbappe was always offside. Yeah, exactly. And by props to Inaki Pena. Fortunately, actually. Yo, Pena was zero. Yo, was bro, yo, bro, that guy was. I was so nervous because this bro is not a good goalkeeper, but he's, he stepped up today. Uh, he, he, he did, bro. He did. That I can't insane, lie. Man, Even I the defense, bro. Look, yeah, you must know Mbappe is like considered probably the greatest player today, which is debatable. debatable. So he's not with PSG anymore. No, he, he made mm-hmm. his move to uh, Madrid mm-hmm. to Ninja become a Galactico. Ninja <laughs> Ninja when was this? Uh, beginning of the season, mid year. Mm. Yeah, no? Late July, early August. Mm, I don't know how much, but it's a lot. Ah, hundred and something probably. Yeah. Ems. Anyway, so obviously, uh, I, there's a picture that I told you something else about, about the whole thing where it's like these four Madrid players, then it was Ronaldinho, then it was another four, and then it was Messi. Now mm. it's another four, and it's Yamal. Mm. But um, I, that's just like a fan thing that they basically... But anyway, so we beat them. We knocked them for four. It was insane. Four like nil. Real Madrid. Real yeah, Madrid. four nil, bro. It was crazy. I was watching that game. I was like, whoa. I couldn't believe it. Lewan, Lewandowski, that brass 36. They said he was a Finnish striker. You should have recorded your reaction. We could have put, put it, the yeah. The I know, but like, I was checking, nah. We're going to do watch longs in the future, rather. But like, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it, bro. Even the first goal he scored. I was thinking to myself, how how is this even possible? Yeah. Because like Lewa is supposed to be a Finnish striker, my bro. I understand the rest of the team is young, the rest of the team, uh average age 23, 24, which yeah. is insane. But he's a hit, bro. He's like leading the pack. One hundred percent. I think he's he has like 14 goals. Yeah, I think so. Yes. He scored his 14th, first his 13th. Yeah. Then they were like, okay, cool. Then he scored his 14th. Not even two minutes, 14th goal. Yeah. Just. And and for the second goal was crazy, but that, that angle, though, mm. the tight angle, I liked it. I can't lie. And I'm not even a fan of Balde, but he put that shit on his head, bro. Yeah. You check, boom, in. Anyway, uh, then who scored? It uh, was. Um, Lamal, La no? It was. Rafinha. Rafinha. Rafinha scored last. Yeah, so Laminia Mal. Yasmin, you don't understand how insane this is, no? <laughs> This bra, 17 years old, score, uh, I don't know what the play was, but he gets the ball, smacks it into the roof. It should have been 7-1, uh, 7-0, by the way, because yeah. Robert Lewandowski missed setters, two setters. Yeah, Do you I, remember saw, that? I saw, I saw, I saw. Yeah, he you should have... Bro, he had like a clean, there was also on target shot that was like going in. 100% like, bro. Like and he also hit the post. He did it, that one, I couldn't yeah. believe my eyes. Yeah. Anyway, so, he missed that, but now Lamin scores the, f- the third goal. Maybe he does this, ne? And then he shows his jacket, he does this. Mm. That is a Ronaldo celebration. That man used to demolish teams for Madrid and he used to do that. Calm down, calm up. Yeah. My bro, Lamine, go to the Bernabeu. <laughs> the corner the of the Madrid fans. Where the, his enemies are. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you photos, bro. That man left his t-shirt, t-shirt up to show them who he is. Rafina pulling back flats because he's <laughs> no. doing too much now. <laughs> Relax. I'm, I saw. I'm thinking to myself, this man's done. You must speak to him. He's <laughs> out of there. <laughs> <Why? laughs> bro. Because that is a menace, bro. It's yeah. a menace. Look, yeah. But I mean, wouldn't you be the same if you were in that position? But like, yo, bro, you <laughs> can't like, yo, the tank man is going to probably get e- like death threats for yeah, that. The thing Pro- is like, probably. Like, uh, Messi, uh, we, uh, I think we shouldn't really be comparing the two of them or whatever, but Messi is a good example of someone who. Not ordinarily, he won't really do stuff like that. He never really did anything like that. Yeah. There's this iconic photo of him. The cockiness. Yeah, he doesn't do that type of thing. You check, he knocked him for, I think he scored a hat trick or two goals and assist or something in one game. And then there's a, fo- a video of him basically being subbed. He has like the specific walk. You check, and he just walks off. He doesn't do anything. He his head down. And yeah, he and he just looks up like that and he's looking yeah. at like the fans and stuff, normal. My now, maybe it's because it's he's like low he on it. the tism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> highly possible. That's also a good wow. point. Wow. Can't be what you but just um, said. Because if he wasn't on that, 
I'm not saying he is. I'm not gonna <laughs> assume. Well, the first person I was in all the tests. Yeah, miss you on the tests. If he wasn't like the way he was, he would have done it. Nah, it, it's true to be honest. Uh, you <laughs> yeah, know why? You so Another example of that is like before Champions League final, there's this iconic photo of him sitting on a ball. He's just sitting there, he's going to play you away for final now. Yeah, Do you understand what I'm saying? Slamming. That is dism. That is acoustic <laughs> if I've ever seen it. Maybe it's giving. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, giving. The, no, but the point I want to make about Lamine is like he always talks about making the R and his mother installing these things in him and stuff. So for him to act like that, out of character, is losing his mind out there. Nah, bro. But you must understand also the adrenaline is pumping. Bro. Like... Imagine the crowd is going insane. Yeah. How do you not like let it get to you? Get hit, like obviously. It. It's like when you know you have a big schnock. Like maybe <laughs> after he'll be like, <laughs> why did I do that? Like, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's a adrenaline. Yeah, adrenaline Roski. makes you do things. Yeah, but Trust, I'm telling you, the things I've done on adrenaline. If you were a Madrid fan or a Barca fan and you see that man do this, it is like insane you just don't do stuff like that yeah bro. I, bet, um, I bet like he probably was like thinking about it like if i score before I'm gonna, yeah I'm gonna do this. Are we? um no wonder you didn't ask for predictions <laughs> yeah i d- oh, i was bro, oh yeah, i was thinking okay, to myself okay. must i ask you i was like nah just now you waste me we lose and i'm gonna be sad all <laughs> you check so like, nah, 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 leave it <laughs> And yeah. uh, Rafina <laughs> scored the last goal and we won the classical. The Owens that was speaking the most shit is quiet. Not no, a peep out bruh. of them. They never texted me nothing. <laughs> but they were. I've, I've never seen audio like this man is gassed. Yeah, but I couldn't believe it. Look, I, I'm not one to talk shit. I, I even told um, uh, J Bo, this other bra of mine, that um, I respect Real Madrid. They did great on Tuesday. Like, when he's the man, he should win the yeah. battle or whatever. Then he vised me, I was vising Stena, he vised me, uh, but I still own you, just remember that, after Wednesday was now, with the pass again. Yeah. yeah. Where is he now? <laughs> Chup <Chupstool>. Chup still. <laughs> God, bro, not said a word since. Man just <laughs> sunk okay. into the bottom of the ocean. But shout out to nah bro. Anyway, so that is my rant, sorry guys. I yeah, was just, yeah. I was Man ecstatic. is clearly excited, I, was, I can't lie, that game was beautiful. I was in shock bro, Rafinha's goal, I didn't even celebrate, I was just like, this is just what we do now. Regular, yeah, I was like, regular, well, regular. Well, it's like nothing new to this, it's just how life goes, you, you know? see. Bro, it's yeah, a beautiful guys. game, I can't lie. Yeah. I'm getting into soccer again. I didn't like watching soccer. I didn't know I didn't like I just to follow it from time to time, but mm. now I'm watching it. Like it's very proper. therapeutic. It's very mm. therapeutic. I also I want to that. get back into it, but because of the whole prediction things that we have going on, I was thinking, if mm. I know more than what mm. I know now, yeah, it's going to affect me because it's it's gonna logic mentally. and yeah. guts. Facts. It's going me- yeah. to mentally affect you. But so I would rather like give prediction and then watch the game. Yeah, yeah. I heard it. That's true. But, but on the sports thing, good week. on the sports thing, Rachel and Sia, guys. Oh my God! Yeah, boy. yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what? I low key think we cursed it because oh. of that. Hey, you calling him a beast? <laughs> <laughs> that beast. Low key, because what are the odds there? We never mentioned. You know what I mean? Like you he think wasn't so? in the news for anything, or whatever. That's really quite deep, though. Yeah. Why, guys? What do you think about that? I, what do you think? I'll tell you what I think after. What do you think? What do I think? Um. I don't know, bro. I just think it's it's, it's a, f- a flawed man situation, man, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It's pr- probably... Uh, do you, is it private? How much of it is private? I think a whole um, lot of it is public, though. I don't know. I don't follow them like that. I just remember somebody posting on Facebook, like, a picture from on from his book. Yeah. yeah. I think I saw that, too. Speaking about temptation and drinking. and mm, Yeah. And I'm going to get a whole lot of ass now. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the white women are lining up. Really? Not even the black girls. I mean, the black girls. Are I think it's a, it's, yeah. it's a pretty known fact that like black rugby players are similar to basketball players in the sense that they always pick up like white. And girls. also, white women love rugby. They do. They mm. to an love extent. Rugby. They want to get like, baked. Like I love soccer. Oh yeah. Even more. Yeah. Bare feet in rugby jerseys. <laughs> 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 crazy i feel like you're i don't know i feel for though like really the best years of your life for this person eight years apparently so they're together since high school yeah like and how then are you was living in an rtp house she was there cooking there's like pictures of like mm. she's like whipping the cosa and pizza with the right hand but i mean like how do you move on after that, like, what do you do with your life? Do you start dating someone? How do you, I like, get it right to Hard date someone I after I that? I think that, like, in that situation, especially them being who they are, 
I think it's a case more of like, okay, we're gonna maybe not see her because clearly that man is prone to do some madness on a night out or whatever, mm. according to his book and whatever. But my thing is like, um, in the post that they, they posted, it also said that uh, they still like have love for each other. So they're still gonna co-parent and they oh, also gonna work. You cannot not have love for another your your your, your, part, your co-parent. Yeah, that's mm. just true. And um, what's the other thing that uh, they still gonna like work on the charities and stuff together? Yeah, and she's so the head of the charity most this year. This year police. So there you go. So it's kind of like you think a she's thing. She's gonna change like the surname. <sighs> I don't think married. so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. She's gonna be still rich. You think police. it's a fame thing? Maybe. But she made a name for herself as, as Rachel Colisi. What's her surname actually? I don't know. Rachel. I'm, I'm gonna ask I, I don't I'm literally asking this just out of like but um do you think that like did she make a name for herself? Or did she just marry Sia Colisi? She didn't but make a name. But they do she does a lot of charity work. Association. Okay. She also so I think she built herself like through through the back yeah. the back end yeah mm. so it's almost a case of I'm like assuming like if um she was to phone us and she li- like said uh, we want I want to sponsor the podcast and she uses a maiden surname it's like who are you <laughs> but yeah. she like really oh who's this white lady trying to sponsor us right right right, right. but no my take is no, I feel like this is all cover up this, this is like a distraction from what's actually happening with the South African um, broadcast right South African rugby broadcast right being bought by an American company and the whole deal being not publicized, you know? I kind of feel like this is orchestrated. The whole book was written six years ago. They probably told the nigga, bro, you're going to have to divorce your wife because you're trying to buy the rights. And then the nigga was like, how much? Um, how much you going to give me? And they said, 50 M. So I'm, sh- I'm just making numbers up, guys. But I'm trying to make a conspiracy theory about this. Mm. That's okay. what I, I I don't think it's impossible because I it's not at the, it's not far fetched. No, because uh, the Amber uh, Johnny Depp thing. Mm. I saw a TikTok that was basically saying that there was something else going on at the time, something about uh, the American oh, it was politicians. The, wasn't it the Wade versus Roe, where they were t- they were busy protesting or like trying to overthrow the abortion? I think yeah, so. That know? sounds very familiar. I think it is that. You know, but there's a lot happening. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that, like, that is similar to this. Like, if you were to link conspiracy theories, like, from one to the other, this would be the same equivalent of that kind of thing. Yeah. But my personal opinion, people can't be together from, like, high school days because... And then break up randomly. No, like, at least, like... Life experience. Sp- really? ex- experience life as yourself, not as this person. Yeah. Now your whole identity is this person. You but don't yeah. know life outside yeah. this person. I, I get think. what you're saying, but do you also think that like now, um, I feel like that's only the, c- do you think th- that sexual experiences and stuff like that is necessary? Because my whole thing is like, what yes. I'm thinking about now is that like, if that was the case, see, I can go do his shit, just not like cheat. You get what I'm trying mm. to say? Like at 23 or whatever. Like maybe, maybe he was cheating and she just felt like he's doing. Doing too much. And she hasn't experienced life outside of him. She who doesn't have an identity. You know who initiated the divorce? Was it her or him? I don't know. All these famous couples always give the same genetic. Mm. We, mm. you know, we decided to go our separate ways. Mm. It's always mm. we. Yeah. We. Mm. But like on the on the topic of like celebrity couples, though, like, do you feel like as the public we are too consumed in that or? feel like too invested like too invested in like mm. two people breaking up and like feeling like oh i saw i saw a post yeah, yeah, yeah. that was basically saying like it, it was a hot made post basically but it was saying that if you in a relationship and you telling us tell all on facebook posting all the nice photos and stuff yeah. when you break up we also want to know because you involved <laughs> us in the first exactly. place you get me <laughs> so from that perspective i kind of understand mm. it i'm like i get mm. it but I, me personally, I'm not really. I don't like to put it out there. Do you know what I mean? Same. I don't. I, yeah. When I date, I don't really tell people know that I'm dating. But I then never know, who, never know who I'm dating. Yeah, but then on that like topic, do you think that it's like because like I can understand maybe me dating a, a girl now and then she's like, why won't you post me type shit? And then she thinks I'm like hiding her or something because yeah. that's not the case. But it's like I can understand that thought process. You know. Yeah, I had that once and I told the girl. No, Ariel, you go through extremes because, you know, it took <laughs> us a whole year to meet Ariel's girlfriend that time. 
Yeah, you told At me At one the point, I thought he was lying to us. No. Like, oh. the first I'm <laughs> like, uh-uh. That's crazy, though. Yeah, that imagine, imagine. Though. But that's really weird, though. Why would you not bring your girl around, though, for like a whole year? I, like it I, wasn't... I, th- I think it was also schedules never really mm, aligning. Never aligning anything. And um, I'll openly admit also that I, like I must have told you this, I don't know if I did tell you this, but like, I, like you are a female and I have lots of female friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I, I find that like they, women are catty men. Mm. So it's like, I don't want to know, like me and the girlfriend go home and then she's like, oh, did you see that? And that kind of happened yeah. in a way. Yeah, like but, what not with me. but not just me, though. No, no, no. <laughs> she's like, um, she's like, she's quite jealous of your relationship. Someone was looking at me a certain way type shit. Too. That is absurd. It is absurd. That's very absurd. That's very I, absurd. But then again, it's like I'm <laughs> oblivious to these things. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I get But that. I will notice, like, if someone hits on her, I will notice that kind of thing. Mm. But I will notice it being, like, happening to me. You check. Oh, yeah. So I, I could have just been, like, yeah. la di da di da The same thing also where a girl, like, the chick I was dating once upon a time, she said, yo, this girl actually was greeting you all m- cheerily and merrily. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know. She's like, I'm like, and I was like, yo, what's up, yo? And she's like, why is she greeting you like that? I'm like, how, oh, bro? And she mm-hmm. kept, she kept like, like, she kept mimicking the way she was greeting me. I know, yo, no. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, please stop, bro. It's I hate weird. that, though. That <laughs> is so... And, and you get, the, you see that, like, on TikTok videos, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, how the girl mimics the guy, mm-hmm. like, the, the, the reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and then, like, they do it over and over. Yeah. And when that shit happened to me, I was like, why are you doing that? It's weird as hell. Mm, like, this, cut it off, this bro. It's a bit cringe. Um, yeah, I wanted to say something, but I forgot now. Sorry. Yeah, yeah that's fine. This is me and my tangents. But, yeah, it took us very long. It took, a, it took him a long time to introduce us. This girl. It's very shady of you. But she was oh, very yeah. nice, Shane. Really? She I like she's that. not she still is alive <laughs> you said she was <laughs> she's <laughs> hey, fine still. Okay, she is very nice yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. okay i see i see but yeah but yeah I look to me it's just the thing of like i don't want to say i believe in evil i like to the ex- full extent but i do i don't like like the whole thing of like everybody knows you're dating this person and how they feel yeah. away and this and that like i think it's, it's just this is a, the most cliche thing, and it's normally a lie, but I'm being 100% honest. I just think it's a lot of drama. Drama yeah. always just happens to attach yeah. themselves to this, because we were happy, you know what I mean? Mm. Being in our little mm-hmm. bubble, doing our own thing. Yeah, yeah, just you being you, just like vibing. Exactly. So, I don't know, that's my opinion on that. What do you think, though? Bruh, sometimes, because like people see you with a girl, right? Or with like a guy, if you're a female. And they're like, hey, you won't believe I saw your, your person with this person. And they look like they were too cozy. Can't even you just chilling, you know? Mm. It's like since you have female friends, you could be walking in green knickers and you're not even holding hands, you're not doing anything shady. But then somebody else sees that mm. and be like, yo, bro, that's a bit sus. And then it puts an idea in your girl's mind, you know? Mm. But mm, maybe. And then she starts going through your phone and she makes stuff up. Like, yo, why are you talking to this girl? This girl is saying baby to you. But you're not saying baby back. Mm. But you're like, you being casual. But, like, I I but feel like that's when you start setting boundaries. Though. Yeah, now you're walking a, a tight yeah. rope, bro. Like, I do set boundaries. But, like, usually you have to, I get that, you have to set boundaries. Mm. But you get some girls who, like, this is who they are. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think I understand what you're saying. Like, I have a coworker that calls everyone babes. Yeah. Like, it's not out of the ordinary exactly. for like a person. Hey, babes. And like, yeah. that's just how yeah. they communicate, you know? Mm. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But I, you know what? Uh, this is what I wanted to say earlier that I said I forgot. Like, another thing that, like, pisses me off. And uh, it's almost understandable. It's kind of, like, comes with the territory in a sense. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you're dating a, a woman and then she, like, maybe you greeted a friend that's a female. Maybe, I, like, like, has been. And then... I'll maybe ask my girlfriend something and she'll be like, oh, ask your, your girlfriend or something. You know what I mean? And that goes that's on for childish. a while. That's childish as hell, though. I don't like it, but I can understand in a sense. Why are you understanding bullshit? <laughs> 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 but I don't know. Why? Just mean step in here, bro. Would you do that? No. That's crazy, right? Like, if you guys are friends long before we started dating, how can I want to be? Yeah, no, she's my because girlfriend. Because then I, I have do. issues on my own then. Mm. And I'm the red flag. Look uh, exactly. I always tell people that's a you problem. It's not a me yeah. problem. Don't let your insecurities now exactly, ruin something. Bro. Yeah. Good. Bruh, bruh, I remember. Yes, but I think it's a. It's a. That is some therapist shit, maybe. Because at the same time, like, um, like you could have had bad experiences with mm. this exact situation. Yeah. You check scenario. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Like, um, I, I'm not gonna say who, but like when I mention you, you check. 
then they're like, oh, you knew this person so long and whatever, whatever. So now they feel a bit iffy about like, you know, dating me basically. Yeah. You check. Because like I've had this female friend for so mm. long. It's, it's, it's movie shit. Like we're going to fall in love <laughs> at some point. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> like we're not adults. But you know what? Ne? I saw this Facebook post where they were like, males, males and females can't be friends. So then this girl commented um, that they can, if the, if the man doesn't like, if you as a man see women as sexual objects, then you're never going to be able to k- to keep a friendship yeah. with a female. So yes, that's a good way to put it, actually, because I've noticed that. But the country, like, I dog me, I can always gauge, like, bitch, I like all sides, all sorts of women, dog. So I can be friends, but I can be like, like, what if, like, okay, yes, man, she pulls up and you, like, you're in your best fit, you're looking clean, you're trying mm. to go out. Like, you're obviously going to look, she's attractive, right? She's gonna be attractive. I, yeah, that's the thing Obviously. though. Like I will I will say like my female friends are attractive, they have attractive qualities, they exactly. look good today, whatever the case mm. may be. Like it's not like I feel like it's a fifty fifty. They can be friends though, but the idea of your mm. your But then the, the your other thing that I wanna ask you is though, like now in that case it's like if you have a female best friend eh, and you so obviously now friends for yours, whatever. If you were, if she's like come over type shit, three AM come over, would you do it? Me. Yeah. Depending yeah, yes, you can <laughs> feel it. Yeah, you would. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Wait. That fine line shit doesn't go. Uh, like yeah, it depends though on. But it also depends. Like, is it an emergency or is it yeah, just? Yeah, like you know, and also you up text. I uh, know, but it's mm, let's yeah, in, the, in this context. Things, let's bro, say it's like you up text. If she's at a nigger's crib, I ain't pulling up. Number one, no That's a sit up. Let's just say like she's alone by herself. She's looking to get get yeah, it on. Yeah. I'm gonna say send her a titty picture and see if you're actually serious. <laughs> <laughs> send me a titty picture. That's ridiculous, man, bro. But uh, ultimately, she sends the photo. You're probably gonna be in the car on your way. I feel like you guys know me already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I probably would. But you see, that's y- that's the thing. You see, women as sexual objects. That's Not exactly the point that you make. But I mean, no, like bro. you're saying, like, but the I like women are attractive, bro. Like I do have girls. I'm like, yo, bro. Like I have some relationships with. I realized having sex with this person, it kind of ruined it. And then moving forward, I realized, no, man, some people you shouldn't have s- smashed them because it's just going to ruin the relationship. So I know some girls, is, I can't have sex with them because, like, I have a female friend, uh, Sasana. Like, there was things happening in the past with me and her, you know, but I never was like, um, hey, we should smash. There was a chance we could have, but, like, I didn't initiate it because I realized if it did, though, there's going to be a bit of awkwardness to it. I was like, nah, let me not go mm. through But then it. I feel like that's not, how do you, like, stay friends with things like that? Because I'm of the opinion, like, if you, for me, friends border family with me. Like, there's a thin line between friends and family. So once you're my friend, you're my family. Really? Yeah. So now, how are you, you're looking at your friend and you're like, hmm, Yum. you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking like I can bend you over today, but that's mm. like you mm. guys have a similar relationship to I you mean and your sister. Who I am by nature, but I like it with me. I can I can smash a chick, bro, and literally be casual with her, and like be friends. We don't even have to cuddle or anything, bro. And just like because I've had that, we smashing. That's and weird. Yeah, it's I also not can't weird, really. It's, not weird. it's just I think I'm mature like that. Though. Yeah, I wouldn't say. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't use the word weird, but it's like me personally couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, guys, you guys are built different. But I mean, like, with us, I feel like we grew up together. Yeah. So now it's like siblings. Mm. Are you going to look at your sister and be like, that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Earlier when when she was basically relating Mm. the friends to family thing, I was going to say it's like smashing your sibling, in a sense. It's not like why are you trying to be brothers with everybody? Hey, that person is a person. Definitely not everybody. It's just like me and who else? You might worry. If you might worry, you might worry. And then you a tight one, you know? Mm. I don't really look at you. I don't have female friends. I'm like, that's my sister. Bro, that's usually my nigga. You my nigga, Mm. dog. You know, I don't I don't really see people as But I feel like if you like relate if you like how can I say? If I can say somebody is like a brother to me, I would go out of my way for that person, like I would mm. for my own siblings. Mm. Do I do that like for like for the person for some of the female friends that I have? I got I got my way like I always. But that's n- need not to be like safe. just my old friends, female friends too. I'm saying the same thing. Like if you're my nigga, 
I'm gonna go out my way for you. Like if you, mm-hmm. if I can help you, I'll help you. If you need some protecting, I'll protect you. If you need 50 bucks, I'll give you. You know, if you need somebody, yeah, I was gonna say something inappropriate, but all in all. I kind of for them regardless of what. Yeah, like, you know. That's insane. And without any being, not any weird vibes like me, guys. I've, I've dealt with so many. But then what? Like what, what? What? Women can't just have. Yeah, they don't have the they same. Can't, they can't like have sex. They can't. Them. That's what I realized. That's why I'm saying sometimes it's really bad for me to initiate that or even like go through with it because I know if I go through with it, I know I'm losing that part. Exactly. Mm. You know, that's why I'm like some girls. I'm like, nah, bro, we should. I even told this other girl, bro, you know, the first time I met you, she's my friend. I told her, like, mm, I think a year later, you know, the first time I met you, I wanted to smash you. She's like, hey, I friend zoned you. I'm like, no, you didn't friend zone me. I just didn't initiate. If I did now, you probably would go with it, but I respect you as my nigga. Mm. And she was like, yeah, you probably would get it. I was like, you see? And, you know, so I had some things I know if I say, but nah, yeah, I can't go through with it. But we really, I'll be going on tangents, guys. We're really going on tangents. Because mm-hmm. we're speaking about Sequoia DC and like sort of liberty dating. But like, this is part of the conversation, though. Yeah, but like, let's just jump back to that because I want to like ask you guys. So, um, what was the initial question that you were asking? Oh, did what you, you guys ask, like, how do they move on from that, right? Yeah. So, like, how do they, because that is my like opinion. I just think it's more of like a, a healing process now, type mm. thing. After any divorce, really. Because, like, again, they still have to look after the kids. Sia yeah. still needs to get on that field. She still needs to look after the, the charities. You check. So they have I want to know now. I, I mean, know like, for the next guy, sometimes guys are very, like... Immature. And, like, fussy, possessive. Weird, yeah. And, and also, like, the standard. That's the head boy of South Africa. Exactly. How are you going to top that, bro? Because ego always plays mm. a lo- um, in the mind of, mm. like, men. So it's like, how are you going to beat this booty? You need to go get... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Find somebody who's much cooler the than captain him. Captain of the cricket teams, not throw tears, won't do it. Find but someone cooler than Ronan him. Williams like find an artist. It. Find a bug guy who's literally just like so, so self aware. At that point, just no go people. for subtle. <laughs> 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 I mean, there's just no other, no, no other one. There's no other option. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> because, I mean, wow. yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no coming down. Nev- Fragile egos. Thus, man is winning World Cups, and I'm uh, just yeah. She should just come for me. I don't give a fuck about Sierra Lisi, bro. I'm literally just bro. I'm be cool, bro. I'll stop saying dog. What you doing, dog? I'm be chilling, dog. I don't care about your World Cup, dog. I'm gonna pull up to your game. I heard it. Obviously, we we talk about a majority thing. Yeah. It'll obviously be that the come across that bra, maybe that will date her and go to the games and you yeah. know be involved in like the family activity. But I want to know now. She actually adopted some of some of Sierra's siblings. I think his brother. She adopted him now as her own. Yeah. But what's gonna happen now? Is she gonna like an adopt a nigga? Be like <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, go with your, go with your, go with that nigga. <laughs> no, you know, I, I want to know how the whole dynamic of that's gonna work though. Uh, but they probably think it's orchestrated, bro. They probably work through like. Uh, it probably it's not something that just happened like oh let's just get divorced it's probably yeah. been coming on for years now and um, it's like they said in that text if obviously you would assume what they're putting out is fact but like they're still a family and whatever so it's not like it's, she's gonna just be like he goes bra have I'll you seen have you seen Rachel Colisi not really I probably have but I haven't really taken note for you uh, have you seen to her to audio <laughs> all okay. white women look the same he uh, says this bro he said this Really? That's just my opinion. Like blonde women with blue eyes, white women. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I, if I see a white woman today, ne, and I'm and I see you tomorrow, I won't even realize I saw her yesterday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so, it's just so messed up of you, bro. There's only like one. So your lack like, of awareness is questionable. If we talk about white white women that I've met, uh, besides people that I see very mm-hmm. often, there's only one white woman that I thought, okay, now she looks distinctive. And then the one you told me about yeah. the teacher, she yes. yeah, yeah, but yeah. like obviously. She's looking for a rugby booty. Mm. <laughs> you get that 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 no shoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No I shoes. I never stood a chance. Mm. I have shoes on. <laughs> 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 I have good hygiene. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I use a washer. I was actually about to ask, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate uh, Rachel Khaleesi? What would I rate yeah. Rachel? Um, a 7. She's like, really? she's okay. She's not ugly, but... I feel like you're proving my point low-key, but go She on. looks <laughs> like... Yeah, but you'd probably see her, like, in summer strand. And be like, and be like yeah. And actually, it wouldn't be like... It won't be like, wow. Yeah. Mm, I feel like that, too. Actually, she's a, a good six and a half. A good... Because I was looking at her picture. I was like, yo, bro. I think I see I was like, you just happy to bag a white girl. Mm. It's like, yeah. 
I also think that's low key like a trophy thing. It is. It really yeah. is, bro. If I beg a white girl, ha, it's like that one I'm rugby player. What's his name? That was go cheating with the a winger, the brother Tran. No, it was a rugby guy from South Africa. Yeah, Victor Matfield. No man, it's it was a coloured guy. Yeah. It's the brother. Brian Abana. No. No, it happened now recently. Anyways, so he. Alton. Like Alton Yanchis. I'm calling. I'm. It sounds. Um, sounds right, but I just think that's racist. What's this guy? <laughs> this guy? I'm calling every coloured winger out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alton Yanchis. Yeah. Is it him? Him. Oh Did my God. Yes, 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 bro. Yes, yes, his baby mama was beautiful. I think she's Russian. Right? Really? The kids look like him. <laughs> their children <laughs> looked like, like him. He got short man syndrome. Like the genetics of fighting civil war. <laughs> While their children were baking. Name, but I think that like uh, people of color's genes is strong. Man. <laughs> but oh, white bro. people too. Especially if you're the man, bro. You see me. She's yo. She see my Such water, such the kids. But I'm telling you, the <laughs> colonizer gene yes, was fighting. I'll just put up photos. I don't think I can because it's kids. No. You know what I mean? But like, go check yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put that in the edit. <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, but like, uh, I don't know, man. But on the, the the topic of this, what do you think of Calvin Momo? Me. Hey, people are, people are going in arms. Also like another relationship that was publicized. And then it went south, or they didn't go out the way people intended it for, like intended it to go. People are in arms, bro. The guy was at a DJ. I was at a event. Just, just explain again what happened. So the, they were dating for I think six years, right? And then all of a sudden, they were actually a week before they, were, they did this cute couple thing where he was DJing and she was pouring shots for the girl for him, and she was mixing the dash for him. You know, it was pretty cute. Mm. Week later, they broke off, bro. A nigga posted a, a picture with another girl <laughs> holding her in some very sexy way when uh, that girl was banging too. And then people were in people were in raw, like the whole country stood still for a second. Ah, you did like they would blame the nigga. They blame the nigga for for real. But you you um, what is the question that you went through? Ask something about like dropping the person that you worked with. Yeah, I was actually gonna say like some people say in some cases. When the dude blows up, right, and he actually has money, he actually goes for the... That's when you're actually going to see who the nigga's type mm. is, for real, for mm. real. Because the nigga went... I wouldn't say the chick Babala is chubby. She's very sexy, dog. I'd smash. Mm. But that's besides the point. Um, the other chick is a bit slender. She's, you know, pretty... The new one or the old one? The new one, the new okay, one, the new one. Yeah. The new one is, you know, she's... Mm. You know? And... Yeah. But the thing the thing about Calvin Mom was, like, with your question, this is what I wanted to say about your question, is that, like... You you basically asking if um they they normally drop the person that's been with him for a few years right yeah but he's been up though for a while now I'd say you get what I'm oh saying he so? I don't yeah. mm. like blue like bro like I'm talking about money 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 like I'm talking about a mill is nothing to you up mm. I don't think it was like that the past three years ago yeah you understand but who also, knows yeah it's also I think it's a case of like it, again with this year and the Rachel thing. Everyone is so invested in this man's life. You get yeah. me? So, and they also like this expectation that, okay, these Huta, they're probably going to be together for every time. Mm, yeah, right? I feel like, bruh, there was a video. The guy was DJing. Nobody, there was like over 100 people. None of those people are dancing. They were just standing like this the whole entire time, just looking at that guy. I don't know if that's, that's a problem with the audience or you. Mm. No, the guy's music is pretty dope. Exactly. I enjoy his music. Yeah. Exactly. He's a good yeah. producer. There was a protest, there was a, there was a silent protest. The relationship, I promise. Oh you. my days, that's a crazy take. It and really is, really key, is it bro. Make sense to me. I really feel like is. that is proof of why you shouldn't do things Publicly. for niggas that you're not married to. I always said I'll never serve a man I'm not married to unless it's family or really? my father. Are you, still gonna, are you standing you, still on you that? Just, you just yeah. said now that they've been together for like six, seven years. I won't do it. I won't that's do it. That's insane. You lying, yes. I won't do it. You lying, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm calling. Six, seven years down the line. You're not no, man. You're and you're not six, seven years down the line and you're married. <laughs> okay, I'm, about I'm laying pipe. Not pipe. Married. I'm laying pipe. You know, pipe makes people crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm laying pipe so hard. So that did I'm laying <laughs> pipe so hard, bro. I'm laying it so hard. And you, you know, women go crazy for good pipe. You're, gonna be, you're not gonna even like a cup of coffee. I you're won't lying. do it. 
You're lying. I won't do it. You're lying. I don't believe you. I do not believe okay. you. You probably... I don't think you would. You would probably wouldn't even make it to like seven years because you already <laughs> like the four the four years you already like no ring. What are we doing here? Two <laughs> years. <laughs> two what years is already too long. Two years to At marry. At this day and age, I'm pushing thirty. You're telling me, yay! But you my biological <laughs> clock is running out on okay. five children, and I won't have it after wedlock. Okay, mm. so it would need to be that. So your standards are your standards, yeah. basically. Lopesh, don't waver away from that, which is good. I, I admire that. Mm. But two years to get married. <laughs> I'm fine. After I'm two years. I'm fine. You're enough for me. Uh, you you d- two years is enough time. But After two years. After two years, are you guys, are you guys staying together? I know. I won't love with a man until I'm married. I, you see I now? That's the I won't part. love with a man until, until I'm married. True colors of people will come after you see, like if you live with when you cohabit with another human being and you I actually see it. who they truly are because yeah. once you're loving with a man Facts. you're never getting married you'll be engaged for 20 years that's also if you'll honestly, die engaged both of you just made brilliant points but i want to say on the topic of that man <laughs> I, I feel like you need to uh, maybe not love with him but like spend some time there because you want to now marry this booty that spend, you never i'll spend some time there but i won't love with because I'm telling you, the problem starts is when you're living together and then, boom, you fall pregnant. Okay, after the child turns one, we'll get married. Okay, we don't have the funds right now to get married. Mm. Okay, then it's excuse. You know it's seven, then 72 like right to get married <laughs> at, at the court. Do you know that? What? 72 right to get married at the court. But then he says things like, you don't, we don't need a piece of paper yeah. to married. tell us so about our relationship. Do, do, but to you... But but if he really loves you, I'm going to say, look, what is it about? Is it the spectacle of getting married or me and you actually the coming in communion? Because like some people, some women don't get married to get married. They actually want people to know they're married, you know? Because if I really, really love but you and you want to... marriage is a sacred s- thing, though. It's a sacred thing. It's a very sacred thing. I get that. So why am I loving with you as if we are married, but we're not? All I'm You're not willing to give me your name. But, like to mm. but you're willing point, to put a child in but me. But to Stena's point, I want to ask this also, like, or not not ask, but like, back up his point in just saying, like, my bro, if you don't like spend time with this bride now, if you're gonna marry this bride and find out like he doesn't do certain things or he does certain Nigga things. Doesn't flush up it takes in number two. two years, yeah. you're telling me you can't find that out. You can't find that out in two years, bruh. You spe- you go for a weekend person, away like somewhere. Like, like from yeah, some of the girls that I like, from the girls that I would date, now. They think I'm always hype. Like, they always think, like, I always got jokes. But when I'm alone, bro, you might think, oh, this guy is depressed. Because I can, because I come quiet, yeah. you know? And then to add on that point now, with that being said, they don't know that about exactly. you. Exactly. So they think this is you all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So know? you would need to spend it's so much time. Exactly. And I'm very finicky by my space, bro. Like, my mom says a lot, if your room is not tidy or if your space mm. is not tidy, it's a reflection of your mental state. Mm. So if I want to stay with a person who doesn't really know how to actually like mm. protect that sacredness of like the space that we're living in. But I mean, don't you think two years is enough time? At least after a year, you can, you've been to this person's house, you see how they live. I'm going to be real. I agree with you. I think that is enough time. Two years? Yeah. I mean. How are you? D- what, what do you need to still find out <laughs> after two years? <laughs> Because huh? it's a, r- a rare case, you might find out some insane shit, but it's like, that's some... Bro, I need some to judge. link to me, man. I need to first... For me, it's a, it's, I need to know if mentally you are a person I can <laughs> lean on. So I you don't spend enough time around each other in that two years. I feel like in a relationship, now you see each other so to, much. Bro, I need you to will to probably figure it out. Exactly. Bro, uh, bro. You just, so just say you don't want to get married. She's good. This is going to last two years. Is it... And the dog is a lot. I, I'm telling a lot, you, bro. Stena, you are going to be one of those people that's going to say, we don't need a piece of paper to tell us. Baby, let's go to the new look court. Seven to <laughs> rand, get it popping. If that really means a lot to you, I can, I'll, I'll, don't even put a last buy for the 72 rand. I'll <laughs> recognize it myself. <laughs> we go to the new look court, we <laughs> married. Th- that's, that's just like a sign. That's just to put you at ease. It's, it's if I really care about you and I really want to, I, I want you to stay. I'm like, yo, like I can't afford the big wedding right now. So let me ask you this: Is it is it is it the case of you don't care either way, or more so you compromising if you were to go and get married? Because I it's a matter of like if I really like if I it's like if I cherish you and I like this is what you want to do and I'm seeing a ten year with you, mm. I'm like okay man, mm. I'm gonna get married okay, but I don't have money now to get married. I don't have 
you know? Yeah, but like in a world where you are, you've made it. Like to, uh, you're at the point now where you've made oh it. Oh yeah, we're gonna get married. For me, I'm gonna say three years, guys. Three years. Three years is too long. Two years is enough. And but you now, I feel like you're taking the piss now because you want to say three years is too long, two years is enough, but how about one year? Too little time now. Yeah. A is year it? is not enough. Is it, you, how can you plan? Look, the, to the year just started now. Okay. And now it's ending again. But I'm saying, bruh, people get married after three months, my bro, because they just, oh, I knew. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I days. get that, but, uh, but I'm still of the opinion you only know someone after two years being together. That's when you really know them. That's you've been with them when they were sick, when they were broke, when they had family issues. That's enough time to see all of those exactly. sides of the person. I hear it. You see, you see them in different mm. lights mm. throughout the my, my opinions and perspective changes each time. Maybe in next year I might say I want to get married after two years. Maybe I might find a girl mm. that's good coochie and then I want to marry her in seven days. Who knows? Yeah, that's fair. I have a running Opinions joke change. with my friends. I said I'm meeting some. I'm meeting my future husband now in November, and we're getting married December. Really? Why is that? Really? Would you do that though? I mean, money talks. Yo, this girl. That's always the case. <laughs> that is always the case. Money but talks. With marriage. But no, honestly though, guys get. Or if I'm like, or if it's like, let's move to a different country, but you need to marry me. Since getting married. Take me. <laughs> <laughs> you insane, bro. Me, no. And why can't you initiate the idea of getting married? Like, why is it all of the guy, the guy's idea? Why can't you say yo? Get on one knee. Who must get on one knee? You. You must be choking. Uh, why Imagine not? Imagine, I would rather swallow a denim jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather stay single for the rest of my life and get down on one knee for That's a man. A ha. That is. I mean, uh, you, what is it, mm, what is it? terminology, um, I feel like, you know, you as a, as a lady, you just have this idea about the certain things I wouldn't really, like, go down to. Embarrassing? Nah, bro, it's not, bro. It's that man, look at Calvin ocean. Momo, look at Rachel and Sia Colisi. You're telling me I must get down on my knee. Devotion. Ha. <laughs> For wait, a man I that's mean, gonna leave me. I mean, you already get down on your two knees, Bobby. You know. This is so. So you're saying basically that you won't do it bec- at the risk of a man. No, being a I man. will never. I will never. No matter the what. Never. And I'll never allow another woman to propose to a man in front of me. What? Are you what? Do? what? Never. That is crazy. Who are you gonna tackle? You boss, though. <laughs> would you? Would you blow the whole thing up? Stand up. <laughs> Stand <laughs> up, <laughs> bitch. Because what do you mean? <laughs> That's crazy hey, though because we if he loved you, he would have proposed to you. What do you mean you must propose nah, to him? Bro, no brother. No. I'll be honest also, like I wouldn't want that to happen to me. A girl propose to you. I'll get up. What do you That's emasculating yeah, also. It, is. it really is. What do you think? But how is? though? Because uh, behind closed doors, he she's already to on two knees. Because <laughs> behind yeah. closed doors, she's on two knees doing other things. Le- more emasculating. I mean I way more know, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, for yeah, me yeah, personally. Imagine the courting thing. Still caught women. Okay, Stena. Really. A girl proposed to me. I'm flattered. No. Would you let your daughter propose to a man? Would I? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> well, that answers the question then. I mean, no, I'm, just being, I'm just playing tables advocate. I, I don't think it's like the idea of like a woman um, proposing is, is appealing. But like I'm not against it per se, per se. No ways. I'm like, I girl, wouldn't. get you. That's girl, get for you. Me, that's, that's, that's too much like begging. Like so you've never begged a man. You've never just begged. marry me. Never Seven begged. years down the line, you're so tired of being girlfriend. Just marry me. But even on the topic of like um, 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 being kind of afraid to propose because this person will do something in the future and it's like you basically stoop to lower levels to marry this person. No, eh? But still. I, I would feel that same way about like a woman. Because women are evil sometimes, but they do some hey, hey, so let's not talk about men. We're not worse. I understand. Nah, we're not we are equally, we are equally evil. You can cry adults as an 18-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Don't say it. You should not say it. Don't say it. That's not. That's another story related to someone else. Man, that, 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 crazy. that shit couldn't... Uh, bra, I can't speak to a 21-year-old. You know what I mean? I can. If you you can, but like I the sensibility. But like I try, I could continue. Yeah, no, I'm just I just wanted to say like I the conversation is just like 
we need to talk about better things and yeah you know you know, I know, I know you know i actually just like um you know i was like just trying out like trying to like this thing of dating below mm. your age because mm. usually i'm dating somebody who's older than me or two years or three years at most younger than me so i tried this 21 year old bro what's like the differences since you've had this experience i didn't even know you done that before like the difference dating, is dating older and then younger older women older women are much more needy bro i feel like older women are they like they're always and not even needy they just they they very straightforward you need to account for a lot of things mm. you know because mm. they actually hold you to what she said like mother figure vibes or what not even mother figure vibes i didn't say that but it's like i wouldn't say mother figure vibes. if you're old if you're dating an old lady bro i'm coming back at six o'clock it has to be i'm coming back at six o'clock you know or if you're or not at least let you know like exactly um, or at least like text her but that's like respectable i can i can yeah but it's like girls like three years mm. you know, i can be like i'm coming back six o'clock and i don't come like yo bro we got lit bro we got lit <laughs> hey we got lit bro i can't I'm, i thought about texting you but like yo you know i was with my niggas and then like i was not near my phone yo bro. but what some of the younger gen, like 21 year olds but don't you think that's like a self-respect thing like for women that are younger they haven't really like they're still learning. And now you're this older guy with money and core, yeah. what, what? I kind of feel like people are young, like, they should date people who are in the same age as them, like, especially the 21 year olds, the 18 year olds. And some but people believe they shouldn't even be like dating. Yeah, like seriously. Because now, again, the life ex- experience thing, you know, back to that whole thing, it was like, I mean, if you're like 21, 22, and you're in a relationship, you're missing out on some stuff that you should mm-hmm. probably experience at that point so that you know that it's out of the way. And when you get to the age of like uh, 27, 28, you're kind of in a, the phase of now having adult conversations and doing adult related shit instead of like, you know, doing shit you were doing when you were 21, 22. But then again, like, I feel like getting your heart broken at a young age Important. is like character, character development. development. Mm. Because imagine you're 30 years old, your yeah. first heartbreak. <laughs> Bro, I'm jumping off on Sardens. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to deal with it, yeah. Not yeah, even, yeah, they're yeah. going to arrest you. Yeah, gonna I'm gonna going to Uppington that time. <laughs> 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 the bars of that, yeah. though. But, like, Easy. I feel like, man, hey, dog, you should date You should date your age, man. You should date your age. Because some women, yeah, some people, but they... But then there's that whole thing of, like, what do they say that um, women are mentally older than men so like dating they your they age is like four times faster than men right so like dating your age is like that's dating lies. someone four, four years debatable. what do you think is it true or no very debatable I don't in your know. opinion and how old how how old, how old do you think you are mentally i don't know i feel like i'm my age Sometimes I feel like I'm younger. <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> I, I, I asked know. my mother the other day, like, what would she do if I told her I was pregnant? Would she be happy? She's like, yeah, of course. I said, wouldn't you feel like it's a teenage pregnancy? <laughs> so she's like, girl, you're pushing sati. Why <laughs> would it? Big <laughs> age. <laughs> yeah, you lost your mind. <laughs> 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 but but I, I would also feel like a no dramatic. teenage pregnancy, but I was, I'm not ready. I still have things to do with that vibe. Really? But you're not getting pregnant, though. Yeah, Fact. 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 You could get someone pregnant and he could just jet off to another country. Him? Yeah. As as well. a ma- like as a man, basically. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I guess yeah. that's true. That's actually one of my... But it's a big fear of mine, though. What? I'm, I can't have kids now. You? Yeah. <laughs> still rough. Still Me, my pillar game is weak. I thought my pillar game was strong. Mm-mm. Like, on the, the subscribe, share, and like so you can get some money in this <laughs> picture. <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is, but good, but good, I just have a good support structure, bro. I can't lie, and also that's the women I've dated. But I don't date, I don't date chicken heads and cluck heads, bro. Like the women I date, bro, are very. This is the one experience. I think I make women crazy. I've kind of put that into. I can see that. But not in a toxic way, bro. So like I'm, I'm too myself. Like, bro, if. Like if you wanna argue, you you can't argue with me, bro. Not because I'm not gonna interact or like always wanna be right. You don't get like upset and aggressive. And bro, stuff. me I'm like number one. Why are we fighting? Is there no resolution for this? But uh, I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna speak to you like this, bro. You need to calm down. But that's reasonable, though. You understand? Some girls, bro. But I can actually see that as like being frustrating in a way. Yeah, exactly. It frustrates a lot of women, bro. And I'm literally like, yo, I wanna say, look. Me, I don't talk to you like that, you bro. I don't shout at you. Mm. I don't make eyes for you. Don't 
do that to me because like when you relax yo bro telling a lady the girl to relax is crazy it's gaslighting you can't right? you can't say crazy you can't say relax there's a few things but you need to relax though what should you do too much i relax dog relax don't panic rtp i i have anger issues so even breathing around me that <laughs> is disrespectful <laughs> <laughs> you can't even exist around it. It's insane. Nah, bro. It's just like now I know, like if I'm upset, I need to take a moment to yourself before I can even think because you're me. Uh, if a girl ever sees me angry, I'd I don't know. Then she's not good for me because mm. I because you don't get angry. So I don't. To, to imagine to push you to that point is insane. I don't, bro. Yo, I don't. I don't get angry, bro. I. Too chill, bro. I ain't funny. You wanna fight me? What? You saw me with that girl. What was I doing with that girl? Mm. Always. Like I have like a really bad temper, so now I need to cool down because I I'll get over it like that. But in that moment, you know when you're yeah when it's so heated, it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna punch you in the face right now. Bro, I had a girl literally trying to be physical, try to stab me, bro. Trying to try to stab me because on some f boy some fuck buddy shit bro she's like if i'm gonna stab you i'm like why are you gonna stab you because you're talking to another girl i'm like no, but we're not dating though I, i've had girls throw ice at me because i was talking to females bro uh. this life thing is crazy that's why i can't date crazy girls like if me and you were to date me and you yasmin and you were like trying to throw me over the front starters <laughs> i i wouldn't really know how to deal with that <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't really know. I'd probably like try to walk away. But I think there's also something like scary about um like if you're not gonna date someone that that gets angry and stuff, right? And you date someone that's like calm. Mm. I think there's something scary about that also. The calmness. Yeah, because you do like relaxed about certain things. Uh, like why don't you care enough? Yeah, it's logic, dog. It's not that I don't care. It's just it's not that they don't care. It's just logic, bro. Like, bro, mm. you know how crazy you look when you get angry. <laughs> The True. idea of uh, yeah. not crazy, you like, bro, you, you know, like the idea of just like your veins are popping, you red, you are being illiterate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> You're not even making sense anymore. I, I, I don't even like that idea, man. I'm just calm down, bro. I want a glass of water. Mm-hmm. What do you want? You want back Sugar shots? Water, yeah. you're <laughs> That's getting out the fan. Imagine getting in an argument, somebody is offering you sugar, sugar water. water. Yo. Bro, that's crazy. Nah. Don't do too much. But yeah, guys. But don't yeah. do too much. We we're running we running out of time. Yeah. Um, do you wanna we're knock we're something we're out? We've been filming now like for an hour. Yeah. Really? But yeah, it's been a good convo. It's maybe we should just end it off with a st- strange request thing. Yeah, we can just try and let's not stay on one too long, but let's move, let's go. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. What's a strange request? Have you actually safe have you sexually had any strange requests? From or like that I asked. From? Yeah, I did. Okay, to share. The love. Oh, wait, wait. I have to, I have to first. I have to love. <laughs> the love. But that wasn't during the deed, though. But it was in the relationship. That's the only thing. Okay. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> no, I don't doesn't. know. I don't think um, so. She basically said I must call her daddy. <laughs> I was like, huh? That's crazy. That is crazy. Wait. (laughs) I'm processing it. I'm trying to. I just registered. (laughs) I'm I'm processing it myself. (laughs) I was called. (laughs) Not you. (laughs) That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Those are not daddy. Those are not daddy issues. I was thinking, but. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Oh my crazy. God. Yes, yeah, yes. So and did you call her daddy? I was like, no. <laughs> I think it was okay. It says a lot about <laughs> him if he did, though. I would imagine. <laughs> I'm like, okay, daddy. I would you? feel so emasculated. Oh bro. my that God. Is next <laughs> level. That is absurd, <laughs> bro. That is, that is way so worse. So that is like. <laughs> <laughs> like At first, I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it hit you late. And I, I didn't have any words. I'm like, what? She I was not that hard wrong. I was like, no, man. No, <laughs> that's exactly like what I said. That's <laughs> exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so I was quiet. And I saw his face and I'm like... Imagine. Then I, then it hit you. The whole the whole magnitude of a girl asking you, yeah. the guy, yeah, to call you daddy. 
I was I was geskot disbelief. <laughs> I couldn't I like, imagine. comprehend. I could imagine. imagine you chilling body around glitched, your thing. Uh, body glitched in your mind like what? What? I, I thought she said something else. <laughs> like, I couldn't <laughs> believe that came out of her mouth. Like. Hey, you must call her daddy. Yeah, but okay, I mean, then okay, so, yeah, bro. And okay. you? Me, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of one. I don't know. Um, I just like the regular ones. Like put a thing up my butt. Mm, the regular ones. Okay, so let's let's just get to yeah, yeah, yeah. to time. one of these. You know? Read the question first, just in case, like, so people know what the. So there was prompt. a thread on Reddit where they were all strange requests while having sex. The replies are so wild. Yeah. And then this one person said, "Had a girl ask me to pee inside her." <laughs> you know, that's the key. what if I don't have to pee right now though? <laughs> 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 like this isn't, this isn't the time and the place really. What if I don't have brother girls trying to tell you you should use it as a urinal? Uh, bro, insane. Says, I might need to drink more water if we're gonna <laughs> get to that <laughs> you, Come, she says, come, 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 hydrated. <laughs> 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 you must really know what club. That's insane. Bro, that's crazy, bro. Yes, yes. There was another one. That is crazy. I feel like this is something Stella would agree to. This girl asked him, oh could you have sex with my sister later on? She hasn't had a boyfriend in a while. Really took me by surprise as I didn't know the girl I was having sex with that well, let alone a sister. I did though because I'm a gentleman and it would be rude to say no. <laughs> Who it is though, I mean you asked me. <laughs> but not. N- I wouldn't really do it like one by one. But I'll just do a threesome. Yes. You know what? I, I would like that sounds like most men's dream. Or threesome. No, like just Two have, have not anyone in general. Like just to have your girlfriend say like, can you just sort of. But it's a girl that he doesn't know well. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's I understand. Weird. But I'm just saying, majority of men will be like, I'm on my way. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but at the same time, if that his girlfriend asked him, right? No, it's, it's a, a girl a that girl. he was <coughs> randomly hooking up with. Oh, but I would still be very suspicious of that. Because what is that about? But then I would be like, okay, sure. Clearly they had a conversation. You guys, you guys like really didn't know me. I would, guys. There's no shame. But I would say, you know, let's not do it one by one because um, it's not going to be aesthetically pleasing. Mm. Um, let's do it together. I was going to say, if they're in a, re- in a relationship. I'd actually make her eat her sister out. That's nasty. Don't incest. Giving Game of Thrones vibes here. Yeah? <laughs> Please. You guys have no idea. That is it incest weird. though? Yes. Anyways, moving on. This girl says, he told me to go to the bathroom and take a shit and told me don't wipe my ass so he can lick it up. Oh my God. Nope. Nope. Hell no. That's insane. Hell no. I just picture that, bro. Taking his plate out of the microwave and there's <laughs> a steaming pile of shit on it because <laughs> that is that's clearly what this man. I was thinking about that guy's mug turning into toilet paper. Just maybe that's insanity. But for it's me. apparently it seems like it's a kink. It is. Oh yeah, uh, we should. Apparently be from shame. the guy from me eating nothing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. a kink. Bad guy. <laughs> people Bad have guy. people have weird ass fetishes. Yeah. But my fetishes don't include toes, shit. Don't include what? Toes. Toes. No toes. No, no, no piss. No feces. No toenail. No toenail clippings. Yeah, I also like. No hair. Maybe we're just boring or something. Because like I, that sounds insane to me. Like I don't have anything to do with like feces and peeing mm. and why you know what they say that um kinks are hereditary so if you like something freaky it means that one of your parents are probably into that i think sexual positions are hereditary because if you like doggy style that's how you are conceived <laughs> I, I don't know how true that is but i believe that i don't know that fetish thing is like i'm just glad mine are like regular regular you know, that if yeah. that is true, if we, t- you know, in the context yeah, of that yeah. whole thing. Yeah. But now imagine that now, and now you're thinking your your father was into that or your mother was into that. Dark, dark. Disturbing. Imagine yeah, valid though. Valid though. Bio, that's crazy though. People one. are weird. No, it's just more about P and things. <laughs> there was another it's one. It's so normalized. Why, why people? 
she pulled out a small knife, asked me to cut her and then smear the blood on my member so she could suck it off then and then wanted to smear blood all over her while we banged. I didn't know blood play was a thing until that moment. Yeah. I that moment, me, I'm putting my pants on, leaving. putting my T-shirt on, putting my shoes on, and I'm jumping out the window. Yeah. Because that is crazy. I watch a lot of, like, cut content, and it's, like, so regular for them, you know. Obviously, people find it weird. They call it cat content. No, man. No. Cut <laughs> cat is a channel on YouTube. Oh. That where they do, like, lineups, guess the profession. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did one where they were, like, kissing kings. And, like, one of them was that. And, like, there's el- electrotherapy, like, shocking power. And, like, all yeah. kinds of shit, bro. And I was like, I don't relate to <laughs> any of these for real. Furries and that. Furries also. What's a furry? The people that dress up as, like, animals. animals. Really? Mm. Why, why are you smiling? It looks like you would enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. But it's like a old mm. suit, though. Like, it's like a mascot vibe, essentially. It's not like so a... fucking a mascot? Yeah. I'm, no, I wouldn't. I'm trying to see titties, nigga. Yeah, that's mean? what I'm saying. But no, way. no ways. But some of them, like, wear b- a butt plug with the whole tail coming yeah. on. Yeah, the tail is there. I've seen that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I've seen that. You're nasty. <laughs> I really am. It's an understatement, guys. I really am. I do the strangest yeah. things. But you anyway, know, we've been shooting now for an hour. Oh, but yeah. yeah um, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Yeah. Um, Thank yeah. you. To the and people follow our socials. Follow our socials. We're going to start posting more, Um, what's those things called? Polls and just like yeah. general like um, yeah, 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 yeah. little videos and stuff. And yeah. And yeah, we'll get on that. Um. But yeah, guys, thanks again, thanks again, thanks again. I wanted to say something else, but I forgot. I don't know. Just yeah. be yourself. Yeah. Stay, okay. no STDs, stay clean in that. I'm trying to get STD, though. Yeah, you did say that earlier. I was like, what? Why? Okay, but. Yeah, we'll <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, sure, guys. See you, see you, see you. Bye. Bye.